constitutional matter and that is the case we have made that the constitution clearly provides a remedy where one is agreed by a decision of the lower court and it would be an absurdity if a decision is made that once you are denied the bail at the high court level you cannot access the appellate court that the decision of the high court on bail is final that would be an absurdity the high court slammed the doors in the face of the Honorable Sawanyana. The high court slammed the doors in the face of the Honorable Sawanyana. We are now knocking at the doors of the Court of Appeal. And the state is saying, no, 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 don't open for them. Let them go away. You see them here, then. That would be very strange if the Court of Appeal also slammed the doors in our face. That's why we are praying for the indulgence of court. And they listen to this matter and they afford the sanctity that is provided for in the constitution about rights and also consider the fact that these honorable members are suffering from ailments that were occasioned to them by the way they were treated by the state and they have not been properly treated because you have heard what they say we have not received specialized attention and treatment. We have applied for court orders for their examination, but all in vain. We are also saying they are deprived, I mean, the people they are supposed to represent are deprived of that right. And also the fact that the trial has delayed because it's now nine months down the road. No indication that a session is about to be made for them to be had. And that is our condition that these are trapped up judges. And that now what is happening is not prosecution of this honorable member of parliament, but persecution. 
and the persecution is bad in absolute terms by our constitution. Look at the provisions of our comfortable the constitution which talks about and the rights. Look at the provisions of what the Article 43, which says even prosecution shouldn't be abused to amount to persecution. So now we have already crossed the Rubicon, we have crossed the red line, we are in the realm or in the, in the territory of persecution. And that's what we want God to address, that there should be no persecution perpetrated by the state. So as we see now, we don't have evidence against them, we have not been tried, we have not been in any way subjected to any kind of investigation or trial. And therefore, God should not condone that. Yes, God has listened to our submissions. We are saying we are going to be here on Wednesday, November 9th. We shall wait and see what comes out of their decision. But our, 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 our prayer is that rights be upheld, be accorded to some. We should enjoy it under the Constitution. That is the potential we are making before the solar report. Hopefully, God will be in our favor and proceed to the matter we left and release them accordingly because the people of this court, they stand in trial. They continue executing their duties as members of parliament. At the same time, they attend the trial. Because we believe these are people's charges. These charges are, are pumped up. They are known to be any way sustainable. There is no way one can say, say, give me a or I'll say one now. Uh, hacked people to death with machetes in massacre when that is our failure. Yes. On the question of trial, it's not within our reach because now it's at the distance of the state to cause the matter to be fixed for here. And it's also within the prerogative of the court to set a session within which this matter should be had. For us, we are just on the receiving end. It's only the court and the state who are in charge of the process of causing the matter to be had. Our hands are tied with the here. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should use this opportunity to allow me to use this opportunity to tell you that we have filed a bail application for the Dutch University. Again, in the high court. You can see it's also challenging persecution. We are waiting for the matter to be had and if it's in India, you will receive copies of the same. Now, uh, the matter. Also, <laughs> What yeah, can it sound that we go for the court in our food? Go to your one to that to you. I want to offer you a proper day. But if someone is taking a number, that would not say which I want, but say you go to your one seat. I don't go to your one so with your Ugara. The fact that you can be put 
abantu bano bafungire mu kumira bafuse obwo kubanga koti ya wansi amene ko mura state ya gamanti koti ya wansi eno bawuliza amateka tukaragise bulungi atalaganti koti ya no bimiza okulira okulira tukaragise bulungi bonna era tukinde koti ne salama sima kusonge eno Nasa <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, and I want to appreciate uh, the legal team, of course, led by Mayor, uh, uh, and Honorable uh, Abim Malende, and uh, other lawyers, for the great work they have continued to do to try to see that uh, these are 
Honorable members, get out of prison. For me, I'll just speak very briefly and to emphasize the question of persecution. If they can treat members of parliament in this manner, that they have been in prison without trial for nine months now, then what about ordinary citizens in this country? Ordinary citizens who the media does not even focus on. Up to now, we still have hundreds of our people in jails, and they have not even been brought before any court of law for over a year. So I think the citizens of Uganda need to see what is going on and see it for what it is. I felt very angry when I saw the state, you know, bring another technicality, try and delay the hearing of this matter. This is a question about the rights of people who are sick, who have not had a chance to interact with their families, who are members of parliament and their constituencies have uh, been left alone. And the state shamelessly, which should right now be in the dock for uh, persecuting these people, is busy saying that uh, there are technicalities, that this matter should go back to the High Court uh, for, for, for another uh, you know, application. The Lord Mayor and the other lawyers raised that point that so many times they've raised other applications for bail and they've actually not been entertained. I know they have written to the principal judge and done everything possible to see that the trial commences, but that has not been uh, entertained. Jagala Kope, I'm going to be talking to you, 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 Catigo <laughs> Okay, I'm love you, Mlun Chaliko, Bobby the Hard Studio and Oko, High Court, a Kololo, Elanga, Secretary General, Nunga, you get the Momo, the Devonji, Kosano, Mlot, Elias, or Pago. Sigan of our Gurunga slavers is a Mikwano Jangavina, and I only want to add that I am so weird. Naye Musamirimira ya ya chinza ni ti Musamirimira we vale yo we vale dala wa mission media be chifana ni chifamu nyo so mikuwa ano dozangi na ba wakukuna rebu shami malende yes kamba we kuna rebu shami eh so kila dala banga dene na mikuwa ano jafu awaka fe ona rebu sikuwa rebu ala nisuwa ni na ba Mukomera, <laughs> State. <laughs> Avundi 
Echigendo wa chawa. Kwe kula banga wa isa upe vya hawa. Ate bifivalinga mwami museveni. Kula banga tiba tanya wa. Kwa chima nyo mbeya hula mwaba na tiba demu. Hebi unabi gena kula chima. Mbeya anga viva wa chima wa. Ndenefe de tuyenda kukana kujia. Tuyeno kula wakita mmateka. Banga wali hawa antu. Kwa wakita mwana. Kwa wakita mwana. Kwa wakita Kukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukuk